as a result of legal access to medical cannabis in both California and Canada. And I can't wait to see what new knowledge emerges from the medical cannabis community over the coming years. Today is Dr. David Bierman. Dr. David Bierman received his MD from the University of Washington School of Medicine. He has a long history in the field of drug abuse treatment and prevention, starting the nation's third free clinic in Seattle, and then acting as director of the Haight-Ashbury uh, Drug Treatment Program. In 1970, he founded the Isla Vista Medical Clinic. Additionally, he's been medical director of Santa Barbara County Methadone Maintenance Clinic and Ventura County o Opiate Detox Program. And he's taught courses on substance abuse at UCSF, UCSB, SDSU. He is currently, uh, and many other acronyms, he's currently is uh, medical director of Zona Seca. Over the years, David Bierman has uh, published in the Journal of Psychoactive Drugs, the Harvard Business Review, the New Physician, and the Journal of Social Issues. And he's here to today to share some of the experiences on therapeutic use of cannabis. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. David Bierman. Well, I told Keith, I said, you know, you put me on at 3.30 on Saturday and we'll fill the hall. And uh, I see that uh, all my fans are here. Uh, and we'd have had more, but my wife is back up in, uh, in Santa Barbara. Um, the, um, it was interesting. Uh, I actually have some straight credentials. And uh, is Philippe, Philip or Philippe, or how do you pronounce it? Philippe. Philippe, okay. Uh, uh, and I, I want to mention those because it's important for us to get people with straight credentials on our side. We just had the uh, Patients Out of Time conference in Santa Barbara and we had a greeting by the mayor uh, and we had a presentation by a physician who just got a Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, I've worked for the federal government giving money away. Uh, that was probably the best job I had. People were really glad to see me. Uh, I ran the Student Health Center in San Diego State. Uh, and I was the medical director of the or oldest county organized health system uh, in the country. And I think it's important to note that we have a lot of uh, people who are in the establishment uh, who are on our side, and I think we're reaching uh, a tipping point here. <clears throat> and part of it has to do with the uh, incredible utility and versatility of uh, uh, cannabis medically, and you're going to hear more about that uh, today. Before I get into that, I want to read a comment from one of our founding fathers because we uh, have strayed tremendously uh, from uh, the principles of the founding fathers. And I certainly would like to see us get a conservative Supreme Court. Uh, if we had had a conservative Supreme Court, Race versus Ashcroft would now have been overturned as the dissenting opinions by Clarence Thomas and Sandra Day O'Connor uh, indicated. And I expect to be struck by lightning whenever I say uh, how much I like their, uh, uh, their dissents. But they, they actually were well-reasoned and intelligent. I think their bodies may have been taken over by pod people. I'm not positive. Uh, Thomas Jefferson said, quote, If people let government decide which foods they eat and medicines they take, their bodies will soon be in as sorry a state as are the souls of those who live under tyranny. So it's really important for us not to live under tyranny. And the reason that I mention that is uh, I was given this paper today uh, regarding an article in the uh, Marin Independent Journal that the FDA says there's no medical value in marijuana. Uh, and I guess that this allows the uh, compassionate conservative policy of arresting the ill. Uh, or else scaring the bejesus out of them. I think all but the uh, uh, most ardent believer in medicinal cannabis would not believe how much benefit some patients get. Uh, the fact that patients uh, break down in tears and say, you know, I'm a law-abiding citizen and it's great to be legal. I had to use this marijuana though, even though it was illegal, because it was the only way I could live with my pain. It was the only way I could prevent um, uh, myself from mm. shooting myself. Mm. Uh, we all know about the pain. Uh, that's uh, been around for you know a few thousand years. Uh, probably 65% of the recommendations go for that. Um, 
we know that uh, migraines uh, are uh, important uh, use for cannabis, uh, and that uh, Sir William Osler went for that. I had a couple of uh, poster patients uh, who approve, of course, uh, what the FDA is saying about there's no medical value. And one of them was a woman in her mid-30s, kind of a, a perky lady, came in with her boyfriend. She'd had two strokes. She had an arterial venous malformation in the brain. She was hemiplegic. Um, and she said, you know, if I don't use marijuana, I have seizures nonstop all day long. <laughs> But if I stay just a little bit high, I don't have any seizures. Hmm. I don't know. That sounds like a medicine to me. I don't, maybe I'm mistaken. so happy we alive we together can survive stop the bullshit stop the lies and now's the time to leave the lies tell me brother tell me true what the hell we gonna gonna do Remember the days We saw purple haze One and one And one is three Hey, hey, baby, what you do to me? We so happy We alive We together can survive but Mother Nature Heaven sent Don't belong to God Hey there sister, what's the plan? Do you really, really understand? Remember the days We saw purple haze One and one, and one is three Hey, hey, baby, what you do to me? We so happy, we alive, we together can survive. Stop the bullshit, stop the lies, now's the time to legalize. Half the world up in smoke, where on earth can we take a tough road? Remember the days We saw purple haze One and one And one is three Hey, hey, baby, what you do to me? Human nature, full and free Modifies reality Open up, inner flower Peace and love Inner power, open up, inner flower, peace and love, inner, inner power. Remember the days we saw purple haze, one and one, and one is three. Hey, hey, baby, what you do to me?